Hey everyone, thanks so much for joining me for today's Daily Touchpoint. My name is Scott and we are in Numbers chapter 23. If you wanna follow along and read the chapter with us in your daily reading plan. Well, this chapter really highlights how God is faithful even when we're not. And his blessing to us isn't based on what we've done to earn it, but because of who he is. And I wanna give you a little bit of backstory here before we jump into the chapter of Numbers 23. You know, a little context here, Israel's been rebellious in the wilderness. They made decisions wrong decisions time and time again. And so God's given them a consequence. He doesn't let this generation enter in the promised land for 40 years. And in the meantime, he's kind of working them their way through and they're defeating armies. They're all the way now here in Moab at the edge here of the promised land. And the king of Moab, Balak is getting scared because he's seeing Israel kind of advancing here. And so he sends his messengers to Balaam, who's this magician kind of pagan seer that's well known at the time. And he wants, he asks Balaam, hey, would you curse the people of Israel because he's scared of of what they're going to do when they come through. So God actually very, very clearly speaks to Balaam and tells them not to curse Israel. And he he uses actually a donkey and an angel to get his message really clear that Israel is blessed and he wants Balaam to speak God's words out of his mouth. And so Balaam realizes this is, this is God who's speaking and he, he obeys what God says. And so here's what he says here when when Balak wants him to curse Israel. He says, Arise, Balak, and listen. This is verse 19 through 21. Hear me, son of Zippor. God is not human that he should lie, not a human being that he should change his mind. Does he speak and then not act? Does he promise and not fulfill? I have received a command to bless. He has blessed, and I cannot change it. No misfortune is seen in Jacob, no misery observed in Israel. The Lord their God is with them. The shout of the king is among them. Balaam actually goes here now. He blesses Israel three different times. The times he's supposed to curse them, he blesses them three different times because he realizes how much God is for them. And this passage shows that, that God is faithful to his promises, not because Israel deserved it. Israel really, really ruined it there in the promised land, or sorry, in the, in the wilderness, leaving the promised land. And yet God doesn't take away the consequence. He still you know, has the consequence for their actions, but it shows that God is with them, that he's for them, he's faithful to his promise, and he's blessing them. His voice over Israel is a blessing, not a curse. And I wanna encourage us with that word today. Maybe some of us, you know, have really made some mistakes in this season. Maybe some of us are doubting God's faithfulness, God's goodness, and have a hard time seeing it. And what I'm pulling out of this passage is God's overall heart is a blessing, that God really is a faithful God, and he sees good plans for his people. And God is fighting for his people. When, when others are trying to curse, he is blessing, and he is with his people all the way through. And so, when we think about all that we have in Jesus Christ, you know, the enemy comes to whisper in your ear to bring about a curse, to, to try to have you believe the lies of who you are uh, apart from God, and to whisper curses in your ear, yet Jesus came to be to fulfill God's faithful promise that he's with his people and then he's leading us to uh, ultimately life eternal life that the promised land to be with God both now and forever and so let's claim that truth that God's a faithful God that he fights for us and that he's with us in this season let's pray father thank you that what we see here in this passage Lord that you're a God who doesn't give up on your people Lord we're, we're a people that so often go astray that so often disobey, that so often uh, doubt. And I I thank you, Lord, for your faithfulness, that your faithfulness isn't conditional upon our actions or our mistakes, but you're faithful because of who you are, God, your character. And I thank you, Lord, that you're a God who has good plans for your people. And so we receive that today. God, we want to walk in that today with faith and with thankfulness, Lord, and we just want to give our hearts for you today. In Jesus' name, amen.